Every summer, towering storm clouds gather over the central United States. Summer storms here have some of the most intense rain, lightning, and winds in the world. We've long known that these storms pose a threat to people on the ground. Now, some scientists fear they could also be threatening Earth's ozone layer by moving water and pollutants high into the sky, into a layer of the atmosphere that some scientists call the overworld. It's a controversial idea. Now, NASA has funded a research project to see if it might be right. The ozone layer protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiation, which can cause skin cancer and other health problems. Much of the ozone is found in the lower stratosphere. That's the cold, dry layer of the atmosphere that begins some 14 kilometers or nearly nine miles up. In the 1980s, researchers showed that industrial chemicals that reached the stratosphere were creating a hole in the ozone layer over the South Pole. That prompted nations to reach an agreement called the Montreal Protocol that phased out some of the worst ozone destroyers. The Montreal Protocol has reduced the concentrations of these chemicals in the atmosphere, which is helping heal the stratospheric ozone hole. But now, researchers fear there's a new threat to the ozone layer. This time, it's far from the polar regions, over North America's stormy Great Plains. Normally, storms don't affect the stratosphere, but researchers suspect some towering storms, called overshoots, can leave a mark by injecting water and pollutants into the overworld. There, the extra moisture and chemicals help catalyze reactions that destroy ozone. To see if there's evidence for that idea, NASA will send a special research jet high into the atmosphere above the U.S. over the next few years. The jet, called an ER-2, is a modified version of the military's U-2 spy plane that can reach more than 20,000 meters, or about 70,000 feet. The ER-2 will fly into areas where overshoots have just passed by and use its instruments to sniff the air for water vapor and chemicals. It will also measure air temperatures because even slightly colder temperatures can greatly speed up ozone destruction. Overall, the goal is to see if the storms could be helping create the right conditions for ozone destruction. It'll be years before the scientists have solid results. And to be sure, so far, there's no evidence that the ozone layer is getting thinner over the U.S. But some scientists worry that climate change could change that. A warming Earth is expected to make the atmosphere wetter and overshoots more common. Already, they've discovered that overshoots over the U.S. occur more often than once thought. Scientists used to think there were just a few overshoots each year. In reality, there are some 45,000 overshoot storms over the central U.S. each year. So researchers are moving to study these storms now to get an early warning of any future problems. Especially because more than 100 million people living across the central United States depend on the ozone layer 